search is on tonight for the killer of a security guard who was just trying to keep the Metrolink safe. Good evening to you. Thank you for being with us. I'm Lauren Traeger. That tragic shooting happened this morning in the Del Mar Loop. News 4's Alexis Zotos is live tonight from the Metro station. Alexis, just a horrible situation for a lot of reasons. What do we know tonight about that victim? Absolutely, Lauren, a really tragic day here for the city of St. Louis and Metrolink. You can see the station behind us has reopened after being closed for some time this morning for this homicide investigation. That contracted security guard was shot and killed here for simply doing his job. Take a look. This is video of that investigation underway this morning. It all started around 10 o'clock on the Metro platform. Investigators telling us the security guard was talking to an individual who was causing a disturbance. And that's when police say that person pulled out a gun and shot the guard multiple times. You can see in the video it happened right there on the stairs leading to the Metrolink platform here in the Del Mar Loop. Police are searching for video, but they are also asking anyone who witnessed the crime to come forward. Just if you saw anything, please contact us because we do need community community support and the community's help with this because this is tragic. This is a tragic situation where this officer was doing his job or attempting to do his job and he was brutally shot. Metrolink releasing a statement tonight saying the Metrolink Police Task Force has pledged to enhance law enforcement patrols on the Metro Transit system starting immediately. Our region is challenged by these random acts of violence and our transit community is not immune to their impact. Right now, we do not know a lot about the victim. We do know that, again, he was a contracted security guard through Metro, working for a company called G4S. I have reached out to that company tonight to try to learn some more. Police say, say they believe that victim between the ages of 25 and 35, but they are, of course, notifying the family before releasing the identity tonight. We'll have more on this story as well as Metrolink's response tonight on News 4 at 10. Reporting live, Alexis Zotos, News 4.